so it's a little more show and tell and this is what I am working on this was another Bible journaling page this was created with an envelope and this Bible journaling subject was Adam and Eve because I found this image in um, a pile of uh, papers that I was saving because I thought it was interesting and I wanted to journal with it and I thought it resembled Adam and Eve so I went ahead and attached the fall of man scriptures in there and um then I went ahead and I added more from Genesis when Adam and Eve sinned and I put a little spelling list up there then I put uh, inside of the books in there and I am literally going to fold some paper about maybe six eight pieces or four which will make eight pieces in here and I am going to sew those in and this will be an insert for a journal one of my Bible journaling is the full size because this is an envelope and I was going to cut them down for tags and pockets and everything but I really got into this one and I did a little more than I intended to and um so I am going through a box of shame and tell which I'll probably add a little video to this and edit and just show you guys when I was moving I found this whole pile or huge box of scraps that I had been saving so I could make embellishments which is a project that I was working on before I moved and then I moved and I had to put everything on pause and so literally voila these are the envelopes that I'm using and some I'm going to turn into tags and others I'm going to use these windows and others I am going to go ahead and glue both sides and you won't even know it's an envelope by the time I'm done but there was no thought process to this I actually did do some video I don't know how interested anybody would be in that let me know but literally I just grabbed random paper did not think about it and glued it down I didn't even ink these guys which is usually I'm an inker but I have like almost 18 big journals and um, <laughs> some little ones to fill so I'm not going to think about it much. I have so many to make that I am just making it easier on myself so I'm getting a bunch of them prepared and for this set I literally did not want to ink anything because I want some that are not ink but I probably have about 30 more of these to make and like this and then I will go ahead and ink some I'll ink some brown I'll ink some blue I got a lot of envelopes I got a lot of junk mail I got I bought a box of like a thousand envelopes a long time ago for two dollars and it's just time to use up some of the stuff that I have and for those who don't know um, mostly I junk journal with old book images that I found pieces of the Bible pieces of godly material that I was reading or I used a dictionary and every once in a while I do buy little paper kits from like to move or somebody's shop or something but I really don't do that anymore I used to because I have so much paper I don't even know if I can use it all before if I go for the next 30 years so it's a goal I'm trying to use up all the scraps that are around and I don't know if I could even get it done because I have a lot and I'm going to share that video and edit this one out. Um, this was actually an envelope that I made as a little um, journal flip through add-in and this will go in a pocket and this one is just an envelope where I literally I went ahead and I decorated everything and there's a pocket in there and I flipped that up and um, I did that with that and then there was a lovely image and most of this is just really eye candy so somebody could just be like oh that's very interesting and lovely and I'm probably more than likely will tuck a card like in here so there's an extra you know treat or a little interesting tidbit if somebody actually ends up being gifted one of my journals which I sometimes do sometimes I make them for myself sometimes I gift them out and, um, and that's just how it is but they take forever there's so many steps and this is just an insert although be it you could just use this as like a card and um just to use it as is i mean technically it uh seals and clothes and it's like a little book almost so but technically i left this side blank so it could be glued into a journal and then you could open it up and unravel it and just be like wow 
That's interesting. I know. So that's what that is. And that was a project that I actually do have a tutorial for. But again, it was mostly just gluing pieces of paper down. And there's not a lot of um, teaching in junk journaling. But sometimes they say it helps to be creative to go ahead and watch others do it. So I will be putting some things in that if anybody's interested, let me know in the comments. And um, this one is a journal flip out. This is a pocket. This is a pocket, I think. Well, maybe not. I thought that was a pocket, but it's not. But this is a pocket. And, uh, this is a pocket. But the thing is, is I, I got a full size journal. I'm going to glue either this flap down and this flap down so that it sits like that. And then somebody could just like open it up and see the whole heart and even flip it over. And when I flip it over, this side will be decorated too, but it is not yet finished. So that is a project. And then we have like a little paper tag that would just go in a journal. I just took a couple scrap papers, folded them, glued them, and uh, cut up a little piece of a scrap paper, glued it down, and put some sticklers, punched a little hole on it, and used that at the back of a... And that will go in a pocket. And um, I'm missing the card for this. I actually had a card out for this one, and this was for my Bible journaling. And that is actually Bible verse right there. It's the old Reader's Digest Bible that um, doesn't have numbers or chapters, which is literally how the Bible was created at first. And then they added chapters and numbers later. That's interesting knowledge to know. And I kind of sort of liked it. But if you are trying to read it and you forget where you left off, it's not as easy as when there's chapters and numbers. So I guess it's a good thing that they added them into the Bible. And then these are specific, I call them signature covers that I have not finished. But this will actually have a page here, a page here, and a page on the other side making them like a, a cover and then I will put random papers in that so somebody could actually journal if they want. But that's a pocket. And um, I thought these cards were interesting. I got them from Dollar Tree and they're today's prayers and they have a wonderful scripture on the back. And so I actually have stuck a lot of these in journals that I have made for others. And even if you just want to make a card like this and give it to somebody, I hear it really makes their day. This was from a birthday card that I had somebody gave me a whole bunch and I wasn't using them. And so I decided to recycle and repurpose. Same with this one. This was a birthday card that I dissected. and. I put a line in it and I put a square to make the door open and I glued down a little jewel and then voila, the door opens. I put music underneath and Revelations 3.20 I thought was so appropriate. Behold, I knock on a door. If anybody opens, it shall be open to you. Perhaps I'm not quoting it perfectly, but that was a good one. And that's what this Bible meditation was about. And then it says, are you lost? And I mean... If you're lost, I think Jesus, God, the Word is your guide according to scriptures. And so that's good to know. And behold, if um, you knock, the door shall be open. That's not what I said. That's actual Bible verses. So that's a page, the same as the last one. And it'll be a signature cover. I have a purple prayer journal that I'm working on finishing. So I need four of these so I could finish my journal complete like one two three four and it's a process so we're working on that and then this is one for my full size journal and again this is a signature cover this is a waterfall that I did not create perfect and it's really hard for me to get back together so I don't necessarily know if I want to pick it up but all these lift up but okay let's just do it and it pulls and it shows the scriptures but I did not 100% close it properly, so it's supposed to technically just slide back in there easily, but it does not. I have to mess with it. And since it's my own personal journal, 
I did not fix it because I know what it takes to get it back in there and it takes um, a little bit of work, yeah, like that. And then it's back in there. And so if I was giving it to somebody else, I would probably fix that because they would ruin it fast. But since I know how to open it and close it, I have left it alone. This woman is filled with, she has pockets too. She's got a pocket there so I could put a card right there. And then there's another pocket right there. And literally I will um, stuff these pockets with reading material. Like this little paper even for instance. I will put scriptures or I will put some of um, my concordance on the back of this. And then later on when I have one finished I actually do go and I look these things up and I'll never like I'll never know what I put in here because I had some things I study when I do it and some things are random like for instance there's called and then this tells you like where it is in the Bible and I could go look it up first Corinthians 1 24 and um it gives you little verses and I did that for myself like there's Matthew 10 17 and um Matthew 20 19 and so there are scripture references this is all Bible related because this is for my Bible journal and then we were in a season of blooming and growing and um because um i do think there's a lot of growing when you draw near to god and god plants us and gardens us and weeds us and nurtures us it provides rain and sun time and sun and like the potter he shapes us and molds us so i was really thinking about myself and being cultivated and i wanted to grow and i was blooming so I made this page all about seeds and plants and the life-giving grass. This was from a piece from a um, Bible book that I got. And then I put harvest over there. And then I did some flowers. And uh, these are actual pockets. All of them are pockets. I do not yet have cards in it. Because um, these journals are progress. This is something I work on all the time. And then I did the double little pockets over here. And we're still in the blossom um, theme and the sun shines. And I did this all at once. And I think it was beautiful. And I believe I was in Colossians when I was doing this. I don't remember. But it actually was Bible orientated themed. And so that's where that came from. And this is a cover. I will attach papers and put this in my journal. I have one more side to finish though, front and back. And this is part of my full size composition uh, Bible journal, which I just made the cover for and I shared the tutorial for you guys. So if anybody is like interested in like watching me do one of these or perhaps um, learning some deeper steps, let me know in the comments because I do not know how many tutorials I'm going to share because Bible journaling is and even journaling, junk journaling, all kinds of journaling. It's already so many different women that are doing this. I don't necessarily know if I want to redo everything. I think besides like looking at someone's page and getting motivated and, and when you first start learning different folds and ideas and embellishment you probably more than likely will need some tutorials but like a lot of times if just my humble opinion a lot of them seem to start doing the same thing over and over and over you find out it's just basically a process of cutting out paper and gluing it down and did you find a really cool book that has really cool images and I will go further into debt because I'm not trying to talk you out of this it's just I am not actually ready to do like tutorials on this yeah I have so many different steps of my journals that I am completing and by the time it's done I will have plenty of tutorials and if you guys want one I could go ahead and put it out there but if not no big deal I had to get it done anyways but since I'm mass making them there is so many that I don't like want to bore everybody with the process but I will be coming on I will share steps I will show you guys what all these turn into soon and I will show you what these guys finish um, turning into because they're not done and if somebody is interested in learning how to make this it's very simple and you just decorate the paper and if you want me to I can literally walk you through the whole process of getting one done and so let me know in the comments 
And either which way, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.